Hey Wolves, today you'll be doing the four-year plan and educational goals as part of your high school and beyond plan. So for today, you're going to log on to Zello, download the four-year plan and educational goals Zello lesson, create academic, personal, and career goals, list the classes that you've taken in high school, and also choose classes that you plan to take, and turn in the completed four-year plan to Zello, but this won't be due until the time that registration is due, so that will be January 18th. So the four-year plan is both a high school and beyond plan and graduation requirement. And it's really a tool that you can use to both create educational and career goals, and then use those goals to inform what classes you wanna take at Eastlake. You can also use this to map out the four years of high school classes that you plan to take here. And it is a Zello lesson, and so there's going to be a few prerequisites of the lesson. So one of those is completing the matchmaker. Most of you have done this already. It's either done in freshman year, and I believe now it's even completed earlier in middle school. You'll need a favorite one career cluster, and this is really just clicking the heart on one career cluster that the matchmaker produces for you. And then save three careers to your profile. And so again, it's just looking at what those matches are from the matchmaker and choosing three that you like. So those are three prerequisites that you'll need to have completed in order to access the lesson. If you didn't have time or you just wanted to do the four-year plan Word document right now, you can access that on Eastlake's website. That will be posted under the counseling tab, specifically under registration. And so you can get to that directly, but just know that those prerequisites will need to be completed and the lesson will need to be turned in uh, under Zello in order to be marked complete. To mark the four-year plan complete, you must turn in the completed document on Zello. The deadline is Monday, January 18th, which is the same due date as registration. This will allow some time for you to discuss what classes you want to take with your family, figure out what electives are appropriate for you, and make sure that you're going to choose the classes that you actually want. And now stay tuned for the tutorial on how to download the Zello lesson and complete it. Hello, today we're going to be walking through how to do the four year course planner and setting educational goals as part of your high school and beyond plan. So let's get started here. So for the first part, we're going to want to log into Zello. So by doing that, you go to lwsd.org. I'm going to go to the top here to students and families and scroll all the way down to 6 to 12 online curriculum. And then under core curriculum, you're going to click on Zello and that's going to bring you to the student sign on page. And so it should automatically log you in. And so once you get in, your dashboard should look something like this. But from here, you're going to want to locate the lesson called four year course plan and educational goals. If you don't see it right on this left hand side here, you can click view all lessons and you should be able to find it. So click on four year course plan, educational goals, and there will be some prerequisites required to have completed before you can access this lesson. So just if you haven't done those, just pay attention to what those are. And I believe like one of them is to save a career cluster. So you'll just need to complete those um, before you can access this lesson. So once you get in here, you don't need to pay attention to all, um, this text right here. You're just wanna, gonna wanna go to the link that says Eastlake High School Four-Year Plan Doc, and you're gonna wanna click on that. Okay, and once that's done downloading, you can open it up and then, here we go. Now this is the academic course planner for Eastlake High School. So the first part of your assignment today is going to be setting goals. So these are gonna be educational, personal, and career goals. So one thing to keep in mind when you're, whenever you're creating a goal is to make sure that they're a SMART goal. So by SMART, I mean that they're specific, they're measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. So an example of an educational goal that you could set for the remainder of the school year is to increase my biology grade from a C plus first semester to a B in the second semester. One example of a personal or non-academic goal 
for the remainder of the school year could be to read two books for leisure by the end of the year. And this is a really weird year. So we want to make sure that you're carving out some time to do some, do some things that are more personal, hobby related, something that's not really all about academics. So you're, you're getting that, that you time for the year. And then lastly, you also want to set a career goal. And so this goal in particular is going to help you inform what classes you're going to want to take um, for this next semester, as well as indicating what classes you'll take for the remainder of your high school years. So an example of this could be enrolling in a local and technical or community college and pursuing certification in architecture. Okay, to recap this first part of the lesson, you'll need to log into Zella, click on the four-year plan and educational goals lesson, download East Lake's four-year plan Word doc, and then write one academic, personal, and career goal. You will be allowed six minutes to complete this for right now, but remember it's not due until January 18th, so it's okay if you don't finish. Okay, so go ahead and get started now.
All right, that wraps up about six minutes or so. But don't worry if you didn't finish. Again, this is not going to be due until January 18th, so you have more time to complete it. But now we're going to be moving on to the second part of the lesson, which is about course planning, choosing your courses uh, that you've already taken, as well as courses that you plan to take for the rest of your high school years. And so here's a tutorial for that. So once you outline those three goals, the second part of this is going to be uh, indicating what classes you have already taken in your high school tenure, as well as what classes you plan to take for the rest of your high school years. So for instance, if you clicked on grade nine for English, and you clicked on this drop down arrow, there's just a couple options that you can choose from. So that's pretty easy. But if you go to something like general electives for grade 12, then there are quite a few different options. So in this case, if you already know the class that you want to take, you can just type it in. You can just say um, principles of engineering or something like that. So those are the couple of ways that you can fill this out. And then you can just remember to refer to the course catalog for course codes or credit information in case you just type it in individually here total the credits here and then you're done go ahead and save the file and then you're going to want to go back to your zello lesson go ahead and click attach files you can choose your file here go ahead and choose it add it in and then once that's done loading and uploading it into the zello let's see here go ahead and click turn in and then it says done your lesson has been submitted okay and so once you submit it then it should show up as done with a little green check mark here and that's it after you have finished completing your four-year plan go ahead and save the document upload it to zello and then you're finished if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me at bmiscavige at lwsd.org uh take some time deciding on what classes to register for uh, this is going to be i mean these are your classes make sure that they're in line with what your actual interests are just remember to get it in by the deadline uh, which is january 18th and that's it um, this will be posted on the website so feel free to go check it out it'll be under registration under the counseling tab of eastlake's website and I'm sure if you just type in East Lake Registration, that tab will pop up as well. Um, yeah, but have a good one.